The cold welding machine has been successfully developed for more than 20 years. But many welding friends are not familiar with cold welding technology. With the upgrade of cold welding machine products, the cold welding machine is thus used in all walks of life. Cold welding machine can not only weld precision small parts, such as this electronic product, such a small thing can be welded. Today, Mrs. Welding discusses with you the difference between traditional welding machine and cold welding machine welding stainless steel. It is everyone's consensus that thin stainless steel plates are difficult to weld. It is difficult for many experienced argon arc welding workers to weld a stainless steel sheet. That is not deformed or discolored. I talked to some bosses who are engaged in the production of stainless steel products. Saying that the master welders who weld stainless steel products will have higher salaries than those who weld ordinary parts. Then why is stainless steel welding so difficult? Why is stainless steel so easy to become black and deform during welding? All this must start from the principle of stainless steel welding. The main reason for the blackening of stainless steel welding is the surface oxidation of the weld and the high temperature oxidation of the surrounding material. There are many main reasons for this situation, such as unclean plates and other weldments before welding, insufficient argon protection, long-term welding, excessive current, improper distance between the welding tungsten needle and the weldment, improper selection of tungsten needles and molten pool the failure to continue protection after the completion of the Wingau welding, and the inadequate protection of the back of the stainless steel weldment, etc. Are the culprits that cause the discoloration of the stainless steel welding? In order to make stainless steel welding without discoloration, the traditional welding methods must do the following. 1. Carefully clean the welded parts of the weldment before welding. 2. Ensure the quality and purity of the argon gas and whether it is leaking. If the air pressure is insufficient, the argon gas cylinder should be replaced in time. 3. For stainless steel, especially thin plates. Do not use high current continuous welding for a long time during welding. Spot welding can be used. Excessive current and slow welding speed will cause the weld seam to turn black. Therefore, the welding speed must be fast and the technique must be accurate. 4. The distance between the tip of the tungsten needle and the weldment. The welding seam of the tungsten needle next to the weldment turns black. And the welding seam of the tungsten needle away from the weldment turns black. The main reason is to ensure the stability and strength of the welding arc during welding. The tungsten needle should be kept sharp during use to prevent the current from not being concentrated after the tungsten needle becomes blunt. And the stability of the arc during welding is not easy to maintain and easy to diverge. 5. Welding pool temperature control. The temperature of the weld pool meets the welding conditions of the weldment and is closely related to the size of the current. While oxidation is related to the speed of the gun. The speed of the gun is cooled while welding. The speed of the gun should ensure that the argon gas protects the front molten pool. Will not be oxidized by high temperature. However, stainless steel will not only be discolored and black but also deformed during welding. When stainless steel is being welded, due to uneven heating of the weld area and metal constraints around the weld, welding stress and deformation will occur. Plastic compression deformation will occur during thermal expansion. Excessive heat of the welder will also change the metallographic structure of the sheet, cause rust in the weld after welding. From a microscopic point of view, the part of the base material that melts into a pool due to the heat of the welding arc during the welding process is called the molten pool, which is the liquid metal part with a certain geometric shape formed on the weldment during fusion welding. There are three types of arc forces, the gravity of the molten pool and the surface tension of the molten pool. Among them, the arc force and the metal gravity of the molten pool are the force that makes the molten pool burn through and the surface tension is the force that prevents the molten pool from falling or burning through. In order to prevent the thin plate welding from burning through, 
It is necessary to find a way to increase the surface tension of the metal molten pool. To increase the surface tension, the heat input of the molten pool, that is the heat input, must be controlled. Therefore, if the stainless steel is not the form during the welding process, it needs to be achieved. The welding seam area is heated evenly, and the heat input and heat accumulation are controlled. Therefore, if you want stainless steel to change its color and shape during the welding process, it is best to use a cold welder for welding, because the arc starting of the argon arc welding machine adopts the high voltage breakdown arc starting method the temperature continues to rise and the output heat after welding is large and the welded sheet is extremely susceptible to uneven heating moreover welding has a heat affected zone and the heat generated will change the metallographic structure of the plate reduce the strength of welding or weld repair and it is easy to make the stainless steel black and deform during the welding process the reason why the cold welder is selected for welding stainless steel is because the working principle of the cold welder is using the principle of capacitive energy storage. The current is released between the tungsten electrode and the workpiece in the form of an instantaneous high frequency pulse arc. The point welding can be completed with only a dozen millimeters. The heat input is concentrated and it takes a fast time to complete the arc and close the arc. It does not cause continuous heating of the workpiece. Therefore, the deformation of the stainless steel after welding is small. The welding seam is not black, and the base material is harmed small. As mentioned above, the cold welding machine mainly relies on instantaneous energy to complete the material welding, and uses a computer chip to precisely control the accuracy of the energy release at each arc point. Therefore, the cold welder can accurately control the current size and discharge time through the panel data. By controlling the magnitude of the current, the surface tension of the molten metal pool, the temperature of the molten pool of the solder joint can be controlled, and the current can be concentrated to maintain the stability of the welding. Controlling the discharge time can avoid changing the metallographic structure of the sheet due to the excessive heat of the welder. And because the cold welding machine has the characteristics of instantaneous temperature rise and fall, welding accuracy, etc. There is no heat input in the instant process of cladding, so, there is no deformation, undercut, and residual stress. This is why the use of cold welders to weld stainless steel, will not cause the stainless steel to become discolored and deformed.